2023 shed light on the inextricable link between personal and societal transformation as we experience rising psychiatric coercion and bear witness to multiple genocides, the need to transcend individualized and medicalized conceptions of mental health has never been clearer. In this time of disruption and crisis, we affirm that mental health is inherently political and how critical it is to center collective liberation in conversations about care. Through education and community building, Ida facilitates learning and unlearning that which we have internalized from oppressive systems and rethinking mental health from a place of lived experience and multiple perspectives. By bringing together providers, survivors, peers, activists, and artists, we help build bridges across movements and identities. Amid mass grief and loss, we uplift the importance of radical imagination and the role that we all play in dreaming and creating a more liberated future. I remember it was just like a breath of fresh air, sitting through that training, finding language to this thing that I had just been with and all these experiences, both mine and all these people that I'd served. I found this community of amazing people that not only let me question things in a way that I never had before, but also was so healing in my own personal recovery and development. Getting to infuse my point of view, as well as like my community members, is something that has made Ida one of the most important spaces that I'm very blessed to be a part of. I'm a huge, huge fan of all of the education work that Ida does to really bring the system along to a human rights approach and to provide the kind of education that providers are very likely not going to get anywhere else. If our responses and resources are causing trauma, stripping autonomy, and disregarding inherent human rights and dignity, it is not care that is carceral, it is coercive, and it's violent. In order for us to build radically inclusive communities, we gotta work through the nuances, the complexities of our relationships. So I wanna ground us in understanding that we are already doing amazing things. We are creating a cooperative of healing practitioners that operates outside of the medical industrial complex to address the wide spectrum of wellness needs that our communities have. We need people doing this work in peer roles, in clinical roles, outside of the system, in mutual aid and activist roles, and we need to be in conversation with each other. So how do we create a space that is transformative and expansive though, to hold struggle, to hold conflict while it is still consensual? Mutual dignity and respect and actually interdependent of each other's needs. And to break down all the notions that capitalism has you know, forcefully indoctrinated us in, in terms of individual responsibility in terms of care, right? Because we're humans and we actually do actually need each other to survive. For me, Ida is really one of the beacons in the movement. I look at what you're putting out there and how you're doing it. All the ways that Ida is trying to hold these extremely intentional spaces for transformative mental health. And I find it deeply, deeply hopeful.